That was the lab's consensus theory. Genetically engineered nanobiotech. Definitely artificial. Unbelievably complex. Way beyond any technology they'd seen. Someone designed it to do what it does. Someone a hell of a lot smarter than us. Well, I'm an anthropologist, so anything I tell you I got secondhand. I may not remember it right. The team had two xenobiologists. Cruz thought pathogen unraveled the telomeres in DNA, then swapped around sections of code. And Pryor thought it activated alleles and non-coding DNA. And they couldn't figure out why mutations weren't 100% consistent. It was Etienne who came up with the theory that pathogen can blend the host's DNA with that of viruses or bacteria in their body. Never. Matthews thought its ability to enter cells was blocked or inhibited by polysaccharides, cell walls. Like in plant or fungal life, animal species never have cell walls, at least none we've seen. That's been true on every planet we've surveyed. We didn't get a choice. Bellows put his own synths in charge of security. He had Xeno X. He could have done whatever he wanted with us. If it makes any difference, the last surviving pathogen experiment was Monica. The gray striped Xeno you killed on Katanka. We never found a way to safely dispose of it. Critters mutated by it we could kill. Pathogen itself? I don't know. The safest thing is to leave it in those jars. They're pretty tough. Sure, you gotta be busy. Anytime you wanna talk about pathogen or anything, I'll be here.